Hello and welcome to the John Art Show. Today's episode is called Finding High Value Dating Partners. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we post a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help get the word out. Now, let's get started. I feel really sorry for young people these days trying to find somebody to date. We have an entire generation of people out there who think that the best way to find someone to date is to go online and start flipping pictures to the right or to the left. That's the absolute worst way, in my opinion, to find somebody. When you want to buy groceries, do you go online and start flipping through pictures of hamburgers and french fries? Or do you go to an actual store and start looking at actual food? It is impossible to find somebody great just by looking at pictures. You have to meet them in person. You have to listen to them speak. Check out their family, their friends, their relatives. See what they're like. Remember, lunatics tend to hang out with other lunatics and great people tend to associate with other really good people. Now, what about their friends? Are their friends normal and sane or are they also nuts? Work is a terrible place to meet someone because unfortunately, companies don't really want employees dating coworkers because that leads to too many sexual harassment cases, so that's not an option anymore. What about nightclubs and bars? Well, a lot of them have closed since the lockdown, but you can still try that if you like. You're probably much better off meeting some person at a bar than you are doing so online these days. The thing about the online world is that Everything on there is a lie or a photoshopped illusion. Instagram is perhaps even worse. Most people on Instagram will take fake or photoshopped pictures of themselves and post them to try and attract other people who've also taken faked or photoshopped pictures of themselves for IG. It's like a war of lies. I want to see if my Instagram lies are good enough to attract uh, someone who, uh, who also lies and has clever uh, cleverly deceiving Instagram photos to attract me. Then everyone is shocked a week later when all the lies start falling apart and everyone is disappointed. So where are all the good places in the physical world to actually meet people? Start with recommendations from friends. Friends can be a great filtering mechanism for dating recommendations. Next, if you're religious, try your church. That can be a great place to meet somebody nice. Next, you can try to meet people with similar interests. I know it sounds corny, it sounds hokey, it sounds dated, but that's a great way to meet people. If you enjoy similar outdoor activities, then that's always a great way to meet similar, uh, similarly inclined people, people who share your interests. Another great place is the gym. Why? Gym people tend to be very hardworking, very focused, very health conscious and they tend not to abuse themselves with drugs or alcohol or other such nonsense. Where else can you meet nice single people? Well, if you have any nice friends, then ask them to tell you if they have any other nice single friends. It never hurts to ask. What about volunteer organizations? That can be a great way to meet people who are good and selfless souls who like to help others. I bet you if someone did a study to see if volunteers made good dating partners, I suspect that they would find out that they absolutely do. In fact, I'm guessing that volunteers are probably some of the best people to meet out there. So give it a try. With that, I want to thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up. So make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.